Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today I'm going to showcase a pretty simple again program I created that uses a encryption algorithm to encrypt the login. So I am able to have a username and an, an encrypted login saved in my local database, kind of just a local uh, file, text file on my computer. So let's have a look at how it works. So I have my username. So in this case, I could go Dan and then have a password. I actually don't even remember what password I made exactly for this one, but let's just create a new one. Let's go down. Let's just go one, two, three, four. That's out of five. I can then also create an account. And now when it updates, we're able to see and create a new account. I would then be able to log in with Dan and these numbers and simply have a successful login. So that's pretty much the program. We have a username have a password and when I create an account, the password and the username is saved in this data file where the username is just saved as the username, but the password is encrypted and saved at this encrypted version. And then whenever I logs in, it checks if this password matches, encrypted matches the encrypted version of the password. So let's go through the code. So I am basically using an encryption a controller thing I created previously, I'll link in the description and up here somewhere probably, where I am using AES, which is like the advanced encryption standard. So I'm not going to talk too much today about how it works, but if you want to see more about this, check the link in the description. I'm simply using this encryption controller object to encrypt and decrypt my elements based on an encryption key. I then also have the password field where I'm able to show something and change the visibility. That's also something I did a video on previously, also link in the description. And then I just very simply have my login handler. Whenever I click login, I get the username from the username text box and the password from the password text box. I then update my login info, which is a hash map containing all the usernames and all the passwords. I then simply have my username and then from a username, I will get the encrypted password and then input my encrypted password to check if the per password I have right now matches the encrypted password if the encrypted password would be decrypted. So simply if my current password matches this one decrypted. So check pretty much if they're the same. And if they are, I would just, in this case, just print login. Like you could do whatever you want, go to some else or log into some account. Or I don't even know if I showcased, if I did it wrong, let's see if you do down again, but I want to free, I would have pop up up an error message. And just very simply, whenever I create an account, I just write to my file using a buffered reader or a buffer. No, a buffered writer, where I just simply have a buffered writer, writer, you can do buffered writer, taking in a file writer, taking in my file, a text file, and putting it inside a append mode, because then I'm able to add more passwords and usernames. And it just simply writes my username from the text box, and a comma, because it's a comma separated file, and I then just encrypt my password and save it into the text file, so we get these. So I will leave a link down in the description for the source code. And I definitely encourage anyone to want to take a look at this to look at it yourself. But just quickly, we have a login. Which checks if the username and the password matches the stuff inside my text file. I then get all the information from the text file, check if it matches, logs in or do an error. And I'm then able, also able to create new password and usernames. Just simply writing to file and using a, a previously created encryption method. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.